Thank you for joining us. We are going to do something very, very special. And um, look, it is an absolutely glorious day here in Sydney. And uh, we're going to do something we've never done before. So bear with us. Sorry, we were two minutes late. But um, look, I've got Wong Fu on the jetty about to get on this beautiful boat. So how about we go and welcome them? Hello, hello. Hi. So is this, the only, this, is, this is how people can hear us. So they can't hear Taylor. Taylor can't, they can't hear anything Taylor's saying right now? What a lovely boat. <laughs> cool. Cool. Well, hey guys, we just want to welcome you. This is our live broadcast with Wong Fu in Sydney. We're going to take you on a bit of a journey today. So we've got lots in store for you. Yesterday, these guys arrived in Sydney and they've had a day to rest. Hopefully, did you rest? Very well. Wait, so uh, we're, we're live right now. I think so. Are we live? Yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> Hello, everyone. These guys can't edit anything out this time, okay? So you'll see them too in, in the flesh. Well, kind of in the flesh. This is, a, this is a Wong Fu weekend uncut. Like, this is for real. This is for real. All right, so what we're going to do is I think Phil's going to take everyone for a bit of a tour. So you can s check out the beautiful boat, okay. and um, let's do that. All right, we're going to go on a tour of the boat. Let's do it. It's like cribs. All right, so well, welcome to uh, the Wong Fu boat. This is our boat. Um, this is this boat's called. Zara. It's called Zara. Zara. I love Zara. Um, that's our that's our escape pod. We won't be using it today. Everything's gonna be safe and fine and dandy. Uh, this is our tailor. Look, he's dressed like a sailor. <laughs> hey, dude, I dressed to, for the for the event. Wait, was that intentional? Yeah. He's a he's a skipper. I'm a Wait, You're a skipper. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a skipper. There's an actual skipper up there. There's, yeah, there's a, there, we're safe. And uh, Wes is our lighthouse. <laughs> Chris, I'm an I'm I'm inverted, inverted life preserver. In the inside. Uh, Christine is our mermaid. Oh, yeah, yes. All right, so uh, we can go anywhere. Do you have enough cord? Yeah. Are you sure? Because what if I want to go over here? Oh, you want to go to the kitchen? All right, we'll go to the we'll we'll go in here first. So this is our uh, this is our fruit. <laughs> these these are our cookies. Um, this is the kitchen. Have you ever been on a boat with a kitchen? No, you have not. Um, oh, there's a st the, the eye robot. The Dude, this this is a fancy. There's like there's like robots in here. There's stove. This is a beautiful boat. Let's 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 stay outside. Let's go upstairs actually. Let's go let's go let's go upstairs. See what's ooh wow. Hello hello. Good morning. I have a cookie. This is our skipper. Wait, let's wait for everyone to get up here, guys. Or you want to get want to get them coming up? Yeah. Hello. Sweet. Ooh. Wait. So, hi, I'm Philip. Hi. Nice hey. to meet you. Dude, you you look really cool. <laughs> you look, you look like a you look like a like a like a skipper. <laughs> yeah. What is what do you have here? This is just a GPS map of where we are oh, on I the have river. On my phone. Um, my phone. And this is the the water below us, the depth and the temperature. Uh, it's a camera of the back deck, and this is the tracks of where the boat has been. Oh, cool. You should really upgrade to Google Maps, because uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, it's very pixelated. Yeah. Uh, the lake, the lake's a little Dude, geometrical. You're insulting, his, you're insulting this, like, million-dollar boat. No, no, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. So which screen would we see, like, the sea monsters? Like, if there's, like, a... That one, if there's, if there's something, like, that shows up there, yeah. like, some shape... You'll say the lock. Have you ever seen something down there that was questionable? Oh, there's some big, big shadows and marks you can see on it, but you don't know what it is until you get down there. And you've gone actually gone to look for them? No. No. Do you do you ever go into the water here? Uh, if it's hot, <laughs> go for a swim. <laughs> so what? So 5.1 is meters. the meters. Oh, how deep it is right now. Yeah, Got it. So is there? I mean, not. I mean, not to agree with Taylor, but like, is there a reason why it's so like jagged? Is it like? Is there like a you functional can, reason? Well, you can upgrade the charts, and at the moment, oh, I think it's I think just a base setting. Cool. Oh, this is this is amazing. We're, about ready, to go. We're ready to go. Okay. Can, take us away? Can I push a button? Oh yeah. Like just turn it yeah, turn on. It. Yep. Like do I hold, hold it there? Hold it on. That's it. There it is. Oh. I just turned on the boat. Kane, I'll let Kane do the other one. Right. Yeah. Good job, Kane. That was good. <laughs> All right. All right, okay, so we're going to head out on the water. There are a lot of boats around, so Kane, can you try to make sure we don't crash? <laughs> Navigate this. 
Look, I want to get, take this opportunity to welcome you again to this bright broadcast with Soul Hardest. Um, let me share a little bit about Soul Hardest. Um, while we're bringing you this live entertainment, um, exclusive with Wong Fu Live, uncut and unedited, these guys are doing it um, to benefit uh, two charities. Those charities are World Vision Australia and Wildlife Conservation Network in the USA. So what's going to happen is through this whole broadcast, you guys get a chance to not only watch, but you can press the donate button um, which is just bef beside the screen, and make a donation. It's really simple. It's a three-step kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> you can choose how much you want to donate. It could be $2. It could be $100. Um, we basically want to bring life-changing live entertainment through Soul Hardest. So we can't do this without you. Let's, um, yeah, take these opportunities while they're going live. We're going to have little um, kind of breaks where we give you some of the snippets of the tour so far that they've had in Australia with our great team. They've edited up some great footage of last night um, for those of you who weren't there uh, so yeah let's let's um get on the let's go okay <laughs> hello we are here at Sydney Airport and guess what we've arrived with time to spare so we're not in a rush Wong Fu is about to touch down any moment now from a long haul flight in Taipei. So they're going to be tired, they might be a little bit grumpy, but we're going to greet them. And I've actually brought a special treat for them. Now they've got to have to appreciate that, I'm sure. So let's go and greet Wong Fu as they come and um, enjoy this beautiful day. We're going to have a great day, so let's go. not too strong. It's a really, it's like, some chocolates are really, really sweet, but this is like the right light, type of, it's yeah, like it's light. light. Mm. It's a it's chocolate like a cream, yeah. so it has like, a, it's a mix of chocolate and a cream. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're live. Oh my God. We're, we're sitting at the back of the boat right now. We're so baller, look at us. Oh, we're so baller. What no? does that mean? I don't know. We're like, we're fancy. So cool. We're very cool. We're, we feel very, very uh, fortunate. Um, but we're going to talk about why we're in Sydney, actually. Why we're in Australia. And uh, that's because we're here to share our movie with you guys. Our movie is called Everything Before Us. And, um, you know, it's taken a long time to make. And we're finally done. So we're really excited to bring it down under to Oz Ooh, yeah. and uh, show you guys. Um, so... On this tour, you know, we're doing a lot of events and it's really a lot of fun. The most fun part, I think, is doing the Q&A because people get to watch your movie and they have a lot of questions about it. So we're going to do the Q&A for you guys right now. We're um, ask ourselves the questions. <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of common questions that we get asked about the film and about Wong Fu. And, um, you know, we thought we'd uh, enlighten you guys a little bit and um, share our experience. Yeah. So... Um, first question, guys, that a very common question we get is, uh, what was our motivation to make a, fu a full-length film? Like, why did we make everything before us? I feel like this is like, so, we're like answering questions about a movie on a yacht. <laughs> they were like being so like film made. So, yeah. I think it, we should ask the questions for you. You guys should answer. Okay? Uh, we wanted to talk about how 
you know, perspectives and in, in love and relationships change as you get older. So we follow two different couples and, uh, you know, in different, in different age uh, ranges. Um, we wanted to give the audience something that they're familiar with, but on, a, on an escalated level. Um, we, wanted to, we wanted to, of course, represent the Asian American community. So we casted uh, Asian American leads. Um, and, you know, a movie's a long time coming for Wong Fu Productions. We really wanted to, uh, you know, take that next step and um, really establish ourselves in, in, a new, in a new light. What was the hardest part about producing the movie? The hardest part was... Tell them, Taylor. Well, for a movie, it's very different than YouTube shorts. Uh, we had a larger crew, up to 30 people, to 50 people a day, and it was 20 days. And I think that's, that took getting used to versus a short on YouTube, which is like maybe two days, one day even. So we had a lot more people to handle and talk to, and it was challenging at times, but also a very, like, very big learning experience. So I thought it was really fun. Uh, great answer. That's exactly what I would say. That was exactly what I would say. Yeah. It, w it was a very uh, huge challenge, but we all worked really hard together, and I think we've made so many shorts together that we were already kind of trained to uh, work in that capacity just, just longer. So it, was, it, was, it wasn't too bad, actually. All right, so, well, what's next for Wong Fu in the movie land? Are we gonna, are we gonna do another one, or what's Wong Fu doing next? Would you guys wanna do another movie? Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. 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 Um, no, it's, uh, we definitely wanna make another film. Uh, I think, if anything, this, this movie showed us that um, it's possible. I think before we were like always wondering, like, could we actually do it? And now we know that it's definitely something that we're capable of doing, and, and I think that there's a lot more stories that can be told. And, you know, this is not the only story that Wong Fu Productions has to tell, and hopefully we'll be able to do a lot more. The brains behind the whole Soul Hardest is with us, uh, Deb. Um, can you give us a quick overview of what is Soul Hearted? My vision for this is that artists, celebrities all over the world can use this platform to be able to support the charities that they're passionate about and, and this platform enables the funds to go directly to the charities so Soul Hardest doesn't take any of the donations. Um, we will, through philanthropy and through marketing fees and other things with our brand partners, we're able to make this happen. But um, that's really my vision for, for Soul Hardest. Um, we're now looking at Soul Hardest and tomorrow you're going to do a, a pretty exciting event somewhere in Sydney, and I believe that it's all mystery, so I can't ask you, otherwise you'll have to kill me, and anyone that's watching, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, that's an exciting new platform. What made you want to embrace uh, Soul Hardest? Well, for, for us, like, you know, um, Deb is someone that, you know, we, we've worked with in the past before, and we really support her vision of what she wants to do, um, you know, with fundraising and charities and charitable work. Um, as influencers, we get so caught up, I think, in, in just trying to just run our own business and, and keep our own staff and our own like lives just moving forward, our own business moving forward. It's good to like have someone kind of wrangle us in and be like, hey, remember you guys have this great you know potential to also help other people in a different way. And I think Deb sees that and and um, and we we want to do that as well. Yeah, and we've got here uh, from World Vision, we've got Michael, um, and you're on the other end, I suppose, of the impact of Soul Hardest. So you're the you're one of the charities that. People right. can donate to as part of this this um, this event tomorrow. What are your thoughts on Soul Hardest, and what's your reaction? Yeah, well, Deb and I have known each other for a little while. Uh, Six months, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and we actually met at one of uh, World Vision's tour events here in Sydney. This is something that um, that we love to do. We love to partner with people with a with a platform, and so when. Uh, Deb came to us and asked if we wanted to be a part of this. We're like, absolutely. We have found that artists, whether they're musicians or filmmakers or um, actors or comedians, the, that power of storytelling is really what brings our work alive to people and makes them engage and want to get involved. I just want to encourage you to catch the vision of Soul Hardest. It's an exciting vision. Really, a exciting artists such as Wong's Food Productions, they're getting in on the act to be able to provide people like yourself with exciting entertainment 
in a great way where you can also participate and build um, the work of charities such as World Vision and others. So grab the platform and uh, thanks for watching. So um, everyone watching, as you guys know, and you guys are on the website, you know, this, this whole uh, if this live streaming event is, um, you know, we're, we're benefiting two great charities, uh, World Vision Australia and the World um, Wildlife Conservation. Um, but right now we have Michael from World Vision, and um, and we're just uh, we're really glad that we can be doing this because Wong Fu Productions, you know, like we we love telling great stories and we love you know um, having a positive impact through our stories. But there's other great companies and great organizations and great people that are helping the world out in different ways and their own ways. And Michael is one of them. So Michael, tell us a little bit about um, <clears throat> about what you do at World Vision. Yeah, so uh, World Vision works in about 100 countries around the world. And basically what we do is we offer people the gift of hope. We uh, do a lot of community development around the world. And uh, we empower communities to be able to um, really fend for themselves. And uh, it's, it's the whole adage, uh, teach a man to fish right. instead of give a man a fish. Right, right. Yeah, so that's what we do. And my team works with all kinds of artists, anybody with a public platform who um, loves what we do, some aspect of what we do. And um, yeah, they invite their fans along. Great. No, I think, um, <clears throat> I think that's a great like, a way of looking at like, good charity work. It's not just here's, here's, here's some stuff, go do something with it, but you guys are actually teaching. And I think most people, at least for me personally, we recognize or we kind of first when we think of World Vision, we, we remember those like commercials growing up, or like where it's like sponsor child. How much of it is like still doing that, and how much of it is beyond that? Because I'm sure your organization does much more than than that itself. Yeah. So World Vision does three main pieces of work. We do community development, and that's where child sponsorship uh, comes in. That's how we fund the work in the field. And then we also do a lot of advocacy work. We work with governments all around the world to. Um, affect change around social issues that affect our work in the field and then we also do a lot of disaster relief emergency response work so uh, earthquakes tsunamis that kind of thing so what are you guys working on right now or what's exciting you the most about how you're helping and what, like what's what project is, is like most exciting to you right now yeah I think one of the most timely projects we're working on right now is uh, working with Syrian refugees yeah and um, as we all know, it's, it's been an issue for a long, long time, but uh, given recent um, exposure in the media, the world is kind of awake now to the issue. So it's actually been around for a while, right, like this issue? Yeah, it's been uh, five years plus now, yeah. Uh, so, what, so, so what exactly are you guys doing with the refugees? Yeah, so we're working in areas around Syria, really caring for refugees, uh, in the camps and uh, giving them, making sure they've got food and um, shelter and safe places for the kids. That's great. Cool. Well, that was really great talking to you, Michael. And I, 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 I feel like, you know, hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about what World Vision does and um, you guys feel compelled to, uh, to, uh, to give and donate. And also, you vote on which gift you want us to do um, for the charities. Um, there's a lot, yeah, like Wes was saying, there's a lot of great people doing great things in this world because, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, stuff going on these days. So hopefully you guys can um, find that generosity in your, in your own hearts. And um, yeah, thank you for giving us hope. You know, like we, we try to have hope in our stories and you are actually creating hope out there in the real world. So thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> All right, are we going to a break now? What's, what's up, Deb? We're going to go to a break and we're going to um, check out what the guys did last night at Zilver Restaurant. We had a lovely dinner with you guys and some very um, special people, guests came along and got to meet and greet these guys and eat 10 courses, 10 courses of great food plus some seafood. So we're going, uh, we'll check that out now and then after that we'll give you a, a view of what's coming up because it's looking absolutely gorgeous out there. See you soon. signature dish, the Peking duck, and um, it is very Peking. 
He's cutting it right now into thin slices. It looks delicious. I'm here with the, the world famous rock oysters, I think. And I think this is, Sydney's known for their seafood and their specialty is all this amazing fresh seafood. And we have oysters with cilantro and it smells amazing. I guess I get to try one. Wow, this is so juicy and tender. So this is Paramundi. It's a uh, native dish to Australia. And um, this is actually uh, a very favorite dish of mine because um, it reminds me of home. My, my family used to eat this. This is a very Cantonese dish. I'm gonna have some right now. I'm good. broadcast I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully you've been able to make a small donation of some sort to show your your support for these guys and for the charities um, I just want to invite the Soul Manor team Soul Hearted team we're gonna come up and say say hello to the camera come on Kelvin come on Amy come on Sue up you get Esther let's all have a group photo It's such a beautiful day out here. Isn't it awesome? Hey! Cool. <laughs> All live. Thanks, guys. See you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We we'll hope to see you again. See you later. Well, that wraps it up for today's live broadcast with Wong Fu Production. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And we still have an opportunity to make a difference and make a donation. So if you haven't already, the donate button's right there. If you want to make a donation, large or small, and we're going to set the counter to seven days for this campaign to be open for you to be able to make a donation either to World Vision Australia or Wildlife Conservation Network in the USA. Let's see what we can do to make life-changing live entertainment. See you later.